today I want to talk about the challenges and just the life journey from going from the NFL to entrepreneurship. Let's change our mindset and get our mind right. But uh, let's get into it, man. A lot of people might not know about this about me, but um, I was a former college and NFL athlete. Um, I've been playing football my whole life since sixth grade. My dad was a football coach. I was raised up in that type of world. So sports been a big part of my life, pretty much all my life. Um, yeah, but I played sixth grade, went to high school, pretty good in high school, all state. Probably still wasn't the best. We had players like Kevin Cooper and Jacquez McClendon, big jock, uh, shout out jock. He was, um, Gatorade All-American, went to the NFL, Tennessee, University of Tennessee. So we was balling where I'm from, um, me and my section, Rico, you know. So I know a lot of people who went to the NFL uh, from where I'm from. And uh, yeah, it was a cool experience. Even in college, I went to Tennessee State, played with a lot of NFL people. So football was a big part of my life, man. We used to eat, sleep, and breathe sports, football where I'm from, because you know, in some areas, that's like your only way out. Sports is your only way out for some people, you know what I mean? And you know, you don't want people to think that, but sports and rapping, you hear people judging, but a way out is a way out, like, you know what I mean? So you gotta take advantage of whatever opportunity is gonna put you in a better situation long as it don't compromise your morals or your values. You know what I'm saying? So, spent a lot of time from sixth grade to what, 22? I was playing football, so that's probably what, 12 years of my life, something like that, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? I spent a long period of time sacrificing a lot of things just to get good at football, which is just like life. I mean, you gotta sacrifice and, and, and put your priorities where you wanna put your priorities, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta have that kind of stuff in order um, for whatever you're trying to do in business, work, sports, you gotta be willing to sacrifice and go it above beyond and put that time and blood, sweat and tears on getting it right. You gotta put that compound interest in on anything you wanna do in life. You gotta make sure it's adding up, compounding. Um, the more days you work out, the better the results will come over time. It's not this instant gratification process, it's delayed. You know if you, you do this for 90 days straight, you know the outcome is gonna be good. You just got to commit to it for 90 days, 30 days, 60 days straight to really change your habits and get in a routine and shift your mindset. So, I don't know. I say that to say, though, yeah, I was around football players. We was playing football for sure. I was around a lot of NFL talent in high school and college. Um, I went to Tennessee State. We had Dominique Rogers Camardi. He got drafted in, like, the first round, 15, 16 picks, something like that in that area balling with him every day in practice starting he was starting i was like yeah okay this is what we doing tennessee state anthony levine big divins Sean. we had so many talented players that were getting nfl opportunities or in the nfl so seeing that in in college was like oh i was balling with these guys this is my dog i might get a shot Ooh. uh got a shot i had a good season I had a few good seasons in college you know what i'm saying me and Rico, balling, linebacker, uh, playing a lot of positions, but the highlight tape on, it's on YouTube, matter of fact, the highlight tape on YouTube, somewhere up here, look for it. But uh, yeah, I got a chance to be an undrafted free agent, went to Pro Day, Pro Day was crazy, it was cold, out there running, working out for scouts, we had a lot of scouts come out. Um, this was the lockout year too, when the lockout happened, but um, yeah, I was able to get undrafted free agent. Shout out to Emo. I remember I was in Emo house. We got the call. We was just looking at the depth chart. We was like, all right, we're going to Cleveland. So I went to Cleveland, went to camp. Boom, 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 went through camp. Boom, got cut, made it to the last, all that stuff. Jacksonville called me, picked me up, rocking out with Jacksonville, practice squad, and just going. And boom, four days before Christmas, they cut me. So I went back home, worked out for like a summer. Agent wasn't really getting no action on the phone. So I was like, boom, all right, cool. I ain't going back to the NFL. I was working out with T Brown. We was at D1 in chat, getting it in. Um, 
But yeah, once I seen like the the thing, I think I might have did like a workout for Canada, but I was like, nah, man, I ain't doing that. So I got on my grind. Uh, my dad, I hit him up. I was like, man, I need a job to get up out of here. And that's when it happened. I shifted from the NFL to corporate America, trying to get me some money, trying to figure it out. Um, went to work. Went to work for this company, this guy named Terry Philpot. Got me out of my situation, brought me up there, gave me like $5,000 signing bonus to like do this leadership development warehouse program. You understand me? So we was like in the warehouse just like learning trucking, customer service, warehousing, managing people. Like it was a program in logistics showing you like the game of how to do this. So I was in that program for like, I don't know, like a year, a year graduated. It was just putting you in all kind of like different situations. Like every three months you will switch to a different function of the business. And I was just learning so fast. And Terry, he was like one of my early mentors in this working business and all this kind of stuff. He helped me tremendously for sure. But um, yeah, he taught me the game, how to work in corporate America and how to just be a leader no matter what your circumstances is, there's no excuses. Like he was just a good, a good, uh, solid dude, leader. He taught me the game and he helped me. He showed me how to travel, corporate travel and just handle myself as a businessman, you know? He taught me that, that car was crazy right there, but he taught me that, like the business acumen. I learned that from him. Always professional, never, never hot-headed or tempered, like, just always cool, calm, and collected. Um, look at these cars. It's wild out here in this rain. We got 44 degrees outside. This rain, it's been raining two days in a row, man. Still got to get on that road and run it. You know what I mean? But yeah, Terry, great dude, man. Taught me a lot to this day. Talk to him once a year. We always hit each other up, man. But Terry really got me going in that corporate world. He was showing me how to move. Um, giving me opportunities, showing me how to just attack and be take advantage of the opportunities that you get. Really taught me a lot, took a chance on me, taught me a lot. Um, then got me promoted to Texas. I moved to Baytown, Texas, working for the same company, but just took another operations manager position, something like that. And um, was working in Baytown, but I was living in Houston, so I drive 30 minutes every day um, in Houston, from back and forth from Baytown to Houston. And uh, same thing, working with that company, but I kind of got burnt out. Like the, I was like, nah, it's time for me to move on. So I parted ways. Amazon called me, boom. They called me, they starting up a new logistics division where they were delivering their own packages in-house. So I'm like, you know, you heard Amazon. I hear, you hear an Amazon buzzing, but then like, boom, they call you and you get on and pass the application and all the interviews and stuff. It's, it's a rigorous process to get into Amazon if you think like you, they really make you think and answer questions a different type of way. Um, that's why they're one of the top companies in it right now. I worked for them for about five years. So they came and got me in Houston, Texas, and they gave me like, like a, it was either fifteen or $20,000, something like that, like a $15,000 or $25,000 sign up on something like that. I was like, man, corporate jobs do you this? Don't remind me of the NFL type stuff. Um, and they gave me 75 shares of stock back when Amazon, they bust the tires, I don't know what's going on. Back when Amazon, um, shares were only like 500. Before I quit working Amazon, the shares, it went up to like $3,500 a share. That was like years ago though. But I don't even know. They probably split right now. I don't even know what the Amazon. I'll look at them a little. I think it's one something, but they split. But check that out. But yeah, I started up with Amazon in Houston, Texas, launching like um, like the first delivery station in like Amazon. I mean, Houston, Texas, Amazon. Early when Amazon first started delivering its own packages. So I launched the first building in Houston, Texas. Me and the team. We was in Humble, Texas. 
I was living in the city, going to Humble. We was just starting up. But, but when we first started that job, there was no station in Houston. So we were traveling for like nine months all over the country, Chicago, Dallas. I spent a lot of time traveling, working for Amazon, learning how to do the process at already up and going stations. So did that, launched that in Houston, boom. They uh, were shutting our operation down in Houston. So everybody in Houston had to find a new job. So boom, I'm looking, I'm looking. A popping available comes up in Vegas. So I took the job, went to Vegas, went out there and lived. Man, I learned a lot in Vegas about life. You know what I mean? People go to Vegas to, to party and gamble and do all that. But living in Vegas is a whole different vibe than going out to Vegas for the weekend and partying. So Vegas really changed my life. That's when I kind of got things back in motion. Like got back on my grind, like reading books. Like I didn't go party. I wasn't partying. Like I was vegetarian, eating clean. Like if you ever been to Vegas, you know like summer days is going to be like 100 degrees easy easy 100 degrees 117 like so if you out there out of like you can't even come outside to the daytime you literally in the middle of the desert chilling you know what i'm saying so all that partying and all that extracurricular don't really that ain't what they really doing out there if you really live there you know but went to vegas was working with amazon same thing but a different type of operation i was working with the amazon flex department where all the cars, only cars was picking up packages and delivering it. So I'm in corporate America still working, you know what I mean? Still only making probably, this point, my first job was like 50,000. The second job I was making like $62,000 a year, which I mean, it was a good salary because I know how to manage my money and stuff, but it wasn't like life changing money. Like I was still like living in the rat race, like taking 14 vacation days a year, like not really doing what I'm owning my own time, if that makes sense. But I was I was getting smarter though, getting smarter in Vegas. And then I started back reading books. I just would be working out, listening to books. I had like a shift, you know, every few years in life you have a shift. They say like every five, but I start shifting to like get my mind right, my knowledge back up and changing my life situation. So I got on my grind, got on my knowledge grind, and just tried to get to it, you know what I'm saying? So getting to it, reading books, eating healthy, eating clean, just going about like a year and something straight, like on the good foot, you know what I mean? Did that, boom. Come a time where I'm like, all right, Vegas, I had enough of it. I tried to buy, no, this is what, I tried to buy a condo in Vegas. Uh, where I was living was the Las Vegas Country Club. I used to live in there. It was lit. Nice community in Vegas. The rent was like 800. It was unbelievable. But um, Las Vegas Country Club, I tried to buy a condo in there. I'll never forget. I tried to buy this condo. Because I'm like, all right, I'm a successful. I'm trying to step my life up and buy some assets. And so, you know, you hear real estate. I'm like, I'm about to buy me my first piece of real estate. So, boom. I, um, Go through all of I'm approved and all that kind of stuff. So I'm working with a realtor and we doing we putting our offer together. I'm like I'm putting this 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 down and we gonna do this. She hit me like a few days later like Nah, somebody just bought this cash. Like you need to put your little boy offer up. She didn't say it like that, but I'm like feeling like damn. Somebody really just paid like cash. It was like one thirty one hundred forty thousand dollars cash. You know, I'm just trying to put my 20% down, like 20,000 or something, like the minimum bed down payment. And to hear somebody like bought that cash, I'm like, it like changed my perspective. Like, I'm like, nah, I'm playing too small. Like, folks out here buying stuff cash when I'm out here trying to put the 20% down. I was like, I need to go to work, get my money up somehow. I didn't know how, but it just hit me that I need to get my act back together on the money. You know what I'm saying? So. Nothing really happened. I didn't get the apartment. I kept living out there a few more months. Then boom. I don't know. I got up. Got the urge. Just moved to Atlanta. Now, I just moved to Atlanta. Like, took another Amazon. All these times I'm using Amazon 
the corporate like move. I was getting a moving package. They were picking my stuff up, moving me state. So if you got a corporate job, if you want to move to a new state, find the location and move to another state, apply for a job. It's usually a pretty easy process and companies pay you and relocate you all on the company dime if you know what you're doing. Um, so yeah, each one of these moves, I was getting moved with a corporate job. So Houston, Atlanta, Las Vegas. So boom, Amazon moved me to Atlanta where I started working with the Amazon DSPs more hand in hand. I was working with other business owners who had their own Amazon DSP. Um, and if you know me, you know I got um, a good network in Atlanta. I'm not from Atlanta, I'm from Chattanooga, Tennessee, but I got a good network in Atlanta. And um, we were out there. So I had a lot of friends, people from college, just people I knew in Atlanta that were making moves. But I was just out there working for Amazon, chilling. You know, still wasn't really, my people was there, but I was chilling more in Atlanta. Like, you know, grew up, you kind of grew out of like all the being wild and hanging out all the time type stuff. But I still go out, don't get me wrong. To this day, I still go hang out. I live a balanced life. You gotta have balance, but like the everyday, like when I lived in Houston, I went out seven days a week probably. Ask Lil Jeremy, shout out Lil Jeremy. I probably went out side like had a job and went outside probably seven days a week. So I understand people, you can't judge nobody for who going out and partying. And that's the phase you have to go through and grow out of. Like, so I understand people who, I used to be lost in the cycle, stuck in the rat race. So I already know what people going through out there and you just gotta grow out of that. But it comes in time, you can't preach. They only ready to wake up when they ready to wake up. You know what I'm saying? So don't fault nobody for that. Just move accordingly um but yeah i was in atlanta just grinding um with amazon on my amazon grind living in the city um just moving smooth in atlanta just really chilling um and taking care of the business and uh i just was working it but i was working with the dsps and everybody at work was just telling me like city man you gotta you need to start your own delivery company with Amazon because it's a program when you work with Amazon you can um, transfer over to the DSP program so that's what I did eventually it took me like a year or two to get convinced and I'm looking at them I'm, you know you say have self-doubt and judging yourself and like am I really ready to jump out on my own but um yeah I did that I did that took that jump work with Amazon they assigned me to Buffalo New York they assigned me to Buffalo, New York. I couldn't stay in Atlanta, so I had to move. Like, I'm like, all right, cool, cool, let's do it. Went there, started it up. Started it up. And uh, been running three, three and a half years almost. In July, it'll be my, this coming July, be the fourth. But uh, yeah, I've been going three and a half years. Ups, downs, blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, just know I'm still here fighting every day. You gotta kill what you eat every day. You gotta come in out and earn it. So I'm outside in the element earning it. And that's kind of my transition of how I went from NFL, corporate America to, you know what I'm saying? Owning my own business, out here grinding for it every day. You know what I mean? I'm on the road right now, making it happen. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of my journey. I took you on my journey, man. I'm letting you in, knowing what we're doing. Um, all the people in the comments, y'all, Salute y'all, man. I don't take none of this personal, man. I'm grateful for everything, the good, the bad, the ugly, the feedback y'all giving me. But that's been my journey, running this company um, and trying to be the best I can be, learning every day. I still feel like this business world is different. I'm telling you. Some days you think you got to figure it out and then some days you like, I don't know what's going on. You understand me? That's how fast the world is moving. So stay in tune, stay in your lane keep going man just keep going it every day that you wake up and you able to move and do what you need to do hey that's a blessing and that's all you can take so that's what we own we on that grind that's my transition from the nfl to entrepreneurship a little bit of my story is more videos on this page and this profile letting you know what we got going on join the community buy a course like subscribe um we out here every day, man. I'm not faking my life. We one of them entrepreneurs. I got to get it every day. 
I ain't comfortable yet. I still got to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, get on that road for it. You know what I mean? We working. But yeah, um, it's good, man. I like this. Keep grinding. Keep believing in yourself. Don't let nobody outside opinions deter you from doing what you want to do. Don't let the outside voices get in your head and deter you from doing what you know you need to do and want to do. So, just make sure you're following your true inner guidance. You do know what's best for you. At the end of the day, you know what's best for you. Nobody has your vision. You got your own unique perspective on life. Embrace it. Distance yourself from people that don't love you or mean you no good or disrespect you. Distance yourself. I know it's hard. Believe me, I know. Yeah. It's hard. We all struggle with it, but it's, it's what you got to do. You understand me? Save yourself, then come back and save everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Save yourself, then come back and save everybody else. It seems selfish, but you gotta you gotta be selfish to become selfless. If you understand what I'm talking about, um, but put yourself first. Take care of the family. Take care of your mind, your mindset. Take care of your space. Watch who you let in it. Kill what you eat every day. Take care of your health. Work out. Get in the gym sweat every day, do something active every day, a minute, 20, 30 minute walk, that's it, 20, 30 minutes of push-ups, act something, do something physical activity-wise every day, um, I don't know, do what you, do what work for you, but put yourself on a schedule, knock your task out, I don't know if you write it down, put it in your iPhone calendar, do something to stay active and keep achieving every day, task list, small wins every day add up to big wins. A lot of small wins every day add up to big wins. Um, like that we gone, like I said, man, support, buy a course, buy, buy a t-shirt, buy something down in the bio, it's a link in the bio. Hit me up, join the People First community, write me a message, chop it up. Um, more coming, figuring this internet content game out, man, but I'm trying to bring a breath of fresh air to this internet stuff, man. None of that phony scripted. This coming straight from the heart freestyle, no pen, no pad. Hey, we punching in, if you know what I'm talking about. I'm punching in every day. We might clean up the audio, just the, the spaces, but we punching in every day, man. Freestyle off the top of the dome, man. We making it make sense. I'm punching in, though. You know what I'm talking about, but make sure you like, subscribe, join the People First community, and we gone, man.